what is going on youtube welcome back to the snes slash nes classic modding tutorial series that we got going on today i'm gonna be showing you how to uh set up a flash drive on your snes or nes classic it's very easy very cheap to do you're just gonna need two things one you're gonna need this guy right here uh, left angle USB 2.0 micro male to USB female host OTG adapter for yada 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 this is the one I'm using and it works perfectly um, you're gonna grab this this is gonna plug in to where the power uh, cable plugs on your SNES classic and the power clip cable is going to plug in to this guy right here so it just feeds right through and adds a USB port right here which you plug your flash drive into I'll uh, put up on screen a picture of this all set up somewhere up here so once you got that you're also gonna need a flash drive um, and if it is 32 gigabytes and under 32 is fine that's what I'm using there's you don't really need much more than that but um, you can go higher however we're gonna be we need to format it to FAT32 and if it's higher than 32 gigabytes then you're also going to need to format your USB drive FAT32 we'll go Ridge Crop FAT32 I'm going to leave a link to this down in the description if your, yours is not formatted to FAT32 you're going to want to go here click this guy you're going to download something it's going to open this GUI and then go ahead format your drive just make sure it's the right drive before you do anything you can also check by going into Windows like if it's 32 gigs and under it should be FAT32 by default but we're gonna go ahead and check this one just right click your USB drive go to properties and say it right there so once you've got uh, that adapter as well as your flash drive then uh, we are good to go and, and once your flash drive is also formatted FAT32 of course so I've got my guy right here what the hell oh we got this guy whoopsie okay so all you gotta do is if you wanna add games to your flash drive, say you don't wanna uh, have them on your SNES Classic for whatever reason, because obviously the space would be a pretty good reason. Just go ahead, here's a Super Nintendo game. So here is every Super Nintendo game known to man. And we're also going to add, well, we might as well Get rid of original games. I'm gonna put RetroArch on the flash drive. And uh, all we gotta do is go export games. And we're gonna to wanna to select a drive. H is going to be flash drive. Just let it do its thing. Well, all right, so it's finished transferring and then once it finishes, we'll get a Windows pop up here that brings us to our USB drive and it created this folder called Hack Chi. And within that we got games and then we got SNES and then we got all these folders right here where it separates them. Easy peasy, not too bad. All right, now we're gonna hook up a little adapter to our SNES Classic. Uh, plug the power cable into that adapter. Hook the flash drive up to that. Boot it up and I'll show you what we got. Okay, we're booting into Hack Chi now. As you can see, we got a bunch of folders here on the home screen.
Let's pop in this. We got Bowls. We got Barkley. We got the Bassmasters. We got it all, y'all. What is going on, guys? So I shot this video uh, like a week or two ago, and I'm just now editing it, and I realized I forgot to mention a very important detail. So the uh, the USB drive essentially acts as a secondary boot option. So for example, say um, if you'd followed the previous video, let's say you had an NES Classic, and you added the entire library to the NES Classic. You got every game on uh, on the NES Classic internal memory itself. Now you got this USB device. This essentially acts as a dual boot. So what you put on the USB device, um, that's what you will see when you boot up with that plugged in. So let's say on the USB device you just want to have RetroArch, Brutal Doom, Prince of Persia. You remove all the original games, you only put those on the USB device. You will only see those when you boot up the console uh, with the USB drive plugged in. Now if you removed the USB uh, drive and turned it back on, uh, it'll boot with whatever you uh, put on your flash memory, your internal flash memory. So. That's kind of how I have it set up. So with the NES Classic, the internal, uh, just the NES Classic internal memory itself, that's got every NES game. But when I boot it up with the USB drive in, all I'm going to see is the option to boot into Brutal Doom. Oh, it's just got the homebrew. And then it's got the icon for RetroArch. So in the next video, what we're going to be doing is installing RetroArch start to finish. Uh, probably the most important uh, video that just needs an update because there's no oh hey thanks thanks for the sub there's not a there's not a very current one so uh, make sure you watch that I'm gonna give the most clear uh, drive uh, guide for RetroArch that's on YouTube at the moment because everything else I've seen is some pretty dated information so we're gonna get it start to finish with. Uh, playlists uh, we're gonna get all the cores set up one easy step and yeah stay tuned for that leave a like if you found this helpful dislike if you think I wasted your time and I'll see you guys on the next one